the big three, football style, finishing up our discussions about the tight end here on Fantasy Alarm TV. The first number today is 24. That's the number of targets that Zach Ertz saw the last two games of last season, and that could portend really big things for him in 2015. Ertz is someone we were expecting to break out last year. Didn't happen. Brent Selleck spent so much time blocking that they didn't have Ertz on the field enough. He was only out there about 50% of the time. Early estimates suggest 70-plus percent is doable for Ertz this year. Don't forget they lost uh, you know, Jeremy Mack, and they obviously brought in Aguilar, but he's a youngster. Uh, Ertz should take a step forward in this offense this year. Now, you got to be careful that you don't overestimate that, because we're going to get a lot of push about Chip Kelly's offense, about the Eagles as we get closer. Don't reach, don't take Ertz third off the board at the tight end position. But the fact is this guy's got the ability to score. He's got the ability to stretch fields. He's extremely athletic. He has been working as well on his pass blocking. So if he does get to that 70-75% snap count total this year, he will be a top 10 tight end without question. With the ability to be a top 5 tight end, he's a potential breakout star at the position. Second number of the day is 53, as in the percentage of passes that were caught last season that were thrown in the direction of Eric Ebron. That's not a very good mark. It's also this. He had, he had the sixth worst drop percentage of all tight ends in football last season. Reports this offseason suggest during practices he's still having problems catching the football that was kind of the issue coming out of college, his hands. He's big, he's fast, he's strong, he's athletic. He does all kinds of things physically that should be able to challenge defense and lead to success for him, but he's got to be able to catch the ball. He's been spending time this offseason in Atlanta with Matt Stafford trying to form that, that compartnership, that camaraderie, that duo, that comfort, comfortability, yeah, comfortability with Stafford. You've obviously got Calvin Johnson and, and Golden Tate out wide. Eric Ebron profiles the guy that can do a lot of things underneath because of all the attention paid to the wide receivers. Uh, for the Lions. If he can catch the football, he could do some nice things this year. He's a tight end two in fantasy, though. Don't go reaching for Eric Ebron. He hasn't proven anything to this point. And then the final number of the day is 1.85, as in the number of yards run per route, uh, per snap last year, excuse me, for Ladarius Green. That was the seventh best mark amongst tight ends in football. The mark was the second best in 2013 among tight ends behind only Rob Gronkowski. Why is that significant? Well, everyone knows at this point that Antonio Gates has been suspended four games for PED use. What does that mean for Green? Really good things potentially. Green's huge, 6'6", 245 pounds, runs in the 4'4s and the 40. He can pose all kinds of problems to a defense. Physically speaking, he's got all the tools to be something significant. Long term, when Gates comes back, you have to think Gates returns to being a very significant part of the Chiefs off, uh, sorry, the Chargers offense. Uh, obviously, he's a huge red zone threat. Uh, eight touchdowns, eight different seasons for Gates. He and Phillip Rivers have that, you know, that partnership going in the red zone. But Green has the ability early, the first four weeks of the season, to be a difference maker at the tight end position. If he does well the first four weeks, obviously the Chargers aren't going to forget about him when Antonio Gates comes back. So Green is someone that I'm still saying maybe tight end two is where he's going to be long term. But he'll probably be drafted as a tight end one with the ability to do some big things early on for the San Diego Chargers. You've been listening to the Big Three, Fantasy Alarm TV. Don't forget to visit us at FantasyAlarm.com for all your fantasy sports needs and just for some fun times. Take care. And, oh, by the way, happy holiday weekend.